guys okay so i just wanted to do a quick update on how i've been doing these past couple weeks um there's definitely been some challenging moments basically all revolving around taking the minerals because before i was just basically doing detox copy enemas infrared sauna push down exercise and i added in the minerals was when it kicked things up to the next level I'm basically taking one fourth of a pill um, every three days. So I'm just going at things very slowly between the GB3 and the coffee enemas. And it's really been helping me just like be able to move my gut. I went to my Lyme doctor and he was like really happy with my progress, really happy with how my bloating was down in my gut. He said this is the best it's ever been. I've actually been gaining weight. So I've been putting on um, some muscle because I was severely underweight for a really long time and that I've basically been able to sustain more energy I've been able to drive, you know further away do a little bit more stressful things. I recently just started working There's one thing about working. So I work in the nursing home You're exposed to a lot of different smells, you know people go out on smoke breaks come back in be exposed to you know moldy buildings which I usually have problems with I went to the work, I could smell these smells. I could smell smoke, I could smell, you know, some chemicals, I could smell, there's probably mold in the building, but I was able to tolerate the smells. I mean, not saying that, that they were good for me. I actually panicked that night that I came home from working because I kind of broke out in an inflammatory rash because of the exposure to the toxins in the nursing home. The environment that I live in now, we make sure not to use any chemicals of any kind so that I'm not getting this toxic exposure because my body's already having enough hard of a time detoxing on its own. The point I'm trying to get across with the toxins in the nursing home, usually I would almost pass out if I just smelled something weird or uh, whatever was going on there. And I was able to tolerate it. And usually I get so tired and fatigued that I wouldn't be able to even function or think. Like it would affect the, the smells and stuff would affect my cognition because my detox was that bad. Still needing to work on decreasing the amount I'm sweating at night. I'm still taking salt baths. I'm basically in the bath for like 25 minutes, which I know Dr. Wilson only says, you know, at most two baths a week because it promotes mineral loss and it's very yin. So I'm working on that. The infrared's going great. I do basically two 15 minute sessions per day and I feel like it's really grounding, really calming. I just have a great effect from the infrared saunas. They've been really great. I have been doing coffee enemas every other day and that seems to be working out well. When I don't absorb the coffee, they work great and um, I do have detox effects and I do have more copper related symptoms because it's moving my bile and when it's moving my bile that's going to stir up all this copper all these toxins even like if i still have lime or bartonella bacteria in me stirring up all that stuff it can create some neurological stuff so these videos help me kind of like sit still a little bit because if it wasn't for these videos i would just be up running around probably trying to do something else <laughs> crazy yeah these videos i think are actually helping me sit still for once. <laughs> yeah, I think my main goal now is just to try and slow down and really, really focus on the diet and doing smaller meals throughout the day. I've also, I'm working on making my own goat milk kefir. I've been incorporating a little bit of olive oil into the diet, which has actually been working well before that would cause like severe gut hardness and bloat and stuff like that. But I've been able to tolerate olive oil, um, not cooking with it because I know you're not supposed to cook with the olive oil, but just pouring it or kind of like adding a little bit to the vegetables in place of ghee or something like that sometimes. So I've still been drinking the spring water. Overall, I think I'm just happy with my progress. There's another thing like with the copper symptoms, it can make you crazy if you let it because it does bring back, you know, past events, kind of like the retracing thing that of what I used to deal with when I went through all this wired stuff and was really symptomatic about like a year and a half ago and having a ton of sensory issues and I had a really, and a bunch of like agitation and stuff like that. I feel like some of that's starting to come back, but I'm pretty sure it's mostly um, detox related symptoms. Herb wise, um, I'm still taking three main herbs. I'm really trying to back down on those. I took another herb out. 
I'm still having issues with my thyroid and I have a really low white blood cell count, but the low white blood cell count, my one doctor basically thinks that it's because my body's actively fighting right now. And then with the thyroid, it's still low, but I'm not expecting obviously change automatically with that. So I've been having to adjust my thyroid meds. When things stabilize a little bit more, I'm planning on adding sunflower, um, lectin, and, and, and maybe it could help calm my anxiety, uh, possibly, and help with co my cholesterol issue. I added in the olive oil to also help with my cholesterol issue instead of just ghee all the time. I am still drinking a little bit of ginger juice, but I've actually backed down on that and just concentrating more on carrot juice and wheatgrass juice mostly you know just like a little small amount like four ounces a day and basically if i go anywhere like if i go to work and i'm going to be gone for a couple hours like i'll eat before i leave but then i also take carrot juice with me in case anything happens and i feel like i need a little bit of a boost or whatever if i did a coffee and then the, that morning the carrot juice always helps with that kind of related issue you know i used to have like two to three or four tablespoons of like resistant starch a day with potato starch or I used to have like two or three whole plantains a day I needed things to move through with the uh, resistant starch fiber that I felt like I needed that now I have like, like 10 plantain chips a day and that's it I've been trying to incorporate more tahini and almond butter versus macadamia nuts and um, pumpkin seeds when things get hard I mean, they are, this program is not easy. Um, there's a lot of times, I think it's, I think it's mostly for me, this program, is, the mental aspect can be the most draining aspect that I have to deal with. It's knowing that this is going to take years and years to get over and, you know, like I have all these, um, issues that I've been dealing with and toxins that I've been dealing with, like my whole life, basically. You can't just get over that, you know, because of how poor my diet was and how sick I was four years ago. It's not something that I can just get over in a month or two. It's going to be a lot of ups and downs, and it, I know it's going to not be easy all the time, um, but detox is not easy. Um, I've already had the effects. I, I made another video about this on my page, but um, how you can tell whether you're actually not doing well and um, kind of taking steps back versus whether, you know, something's detoxing out of your body and you get a temporary um, increase in symptoms. Those are two completely different things. So when I'm crashing, like in the past when I've crashed, I become worse and I really don't get better. Like I, each day I wake up, I wake up more fatigued. Each, you know, all my neurological symptoms are coming back and they, they just literally don't get better. And the brain fog comes back times 10. The difference between the, the illness getting worse, you know, this would be like not a right treatment, not a treatment, you know, too much stress on my body. Um, at one point I tried going to back to work two years ago and I ended up just be literally being bed bound even worse than before. So the stress on my body was too much. Obviously there's always a fear that's going to happen again. But the difference between that condition where I am continually getting worse, becoming gradual, it's a gradual process until you literally can't think how to like turn on a computer or you literally can't stand a sound of a clank. The difference between getting worse and hurricane detoxing your body um, and temporarily getting worse in order to get better, you're essentially bringing the toxins to the surface. You're bringing the main problem to the surface and that's really hard to deal with. It can be physical or mental. So when you do this, it's an extremely unpleasant situation because it does bring up symptoms that you've had in the past and there is trauma involved in these symptoms so i think awareness is everything in regards to that and when it brings you back to that knowing that it's temporary that you're going to get over it i think a lot of it is you know having to just go through this process in order to get better those are the challenging parts I'm dealing with right now. It's mostly the copper toxicity, racing mind, um, head pressure, headache, um, and, you know, having that anxiety and sometimes the insomnia and knowing just 
having faith that it will pass and that tomorrow will be a better day. So I'm going to work on still the diet things and still going to bed earlier and continuing to do the red light thing at night. Another goal I want to do is when it's sunny, like I just want to be outside. So when I'm um, getting up in the morning and it's sunny out, like I definitely want to spend a little bit of time outside because that's been making me feel a lot better lately. When I check back in, I'm going to update on my work situation to see if things are working out or not working out. Um, hopefully decreasing the bath time. Some nights I've been going to bed at 11 or 12 at night and I need to switch that to like nine o'clock at night at the latest. Um, so, well, nine or 10. The diet stuff too, just having the three square meals a day is super hard to do, but to help with my cortisol levels and just to help sustain energy because that does help with that. Thanks for watching and I will update in a couple of weeks.